Goals are important for, an, for a business. And what's even more important than having a goal is finishing that goal. So most people, their experience with goals are similar to New Year's resolutions. You say, this is what I'm going to do. And then maybe you go to the gym for a couple of weeks or maybe you change, try to change that habit. Uh, the, the problem is, is that in order to actually achieve a goal, you have to go through a lot of steps to, to get there. And at the end, you have to have accountability for it. So in setting a goal, first off, you need to make sure it's SMART. And most people have heard, heard of the acronym SMART goals. Specific, measurable, achievable, results-oriented, and timely. And, and a goal has to be that because you need to know when you're going to achieve that goal, how you're going to achieve that goal, how you're going to measure if that goal is achieved, everything along those lines. The, another precursor to setting a goal is what is your overall vision? So the goal isn't the vision. The goal is an incremental step along the path to the vision. So, so if you don't know where your vision is, how can you make a goal that will get you to that vision? Are you creating a legacy for, for, for your family? Are you creating passive income with a business? Are you wanting to ch change, change your life works into philanthropic endeavors at some point? Okay. These are all visions of your life, things that you want out of your life, the legacies that you can get. And, and, and they all have different paths to get there. So if you haven't identified what that vision is, what that, that end state is, then you won't make a goal that will get you there. The goals will, you make will take you somewhere else. So choose where you want to go. Make smart goals that will get you there incrementally. And then find an accountability system to make sure somebody else that, that can call you out that will say, hey, did you do what you said you were going to do? Are you continuing to do what you said you're going to do? And then ultimately, if you start saying, no, I didn't do it, what are the consequences for that? Are the consequences just as simple as your accountability partner saying, well, I really wish you would have, because that's not going to help much. Or the consequence is going to be something more significant. You set your own consequences, because in order for it to be a consequence, it has to be something that will help you change your behavior and achieve that goal. That's really the key to achieving the goals that you want in your life and getting to where you want to be in your life.